Hi, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota, and this instructional video will be about z-scores and functions. Here's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to write a function and how to use it in any document. And this will be specifically useful for z-scores because that's what the function is going to do. Before you begin, we need to do an equipment check. By pressing the Home or On key on your TI Inspire, followed by 5 and then 4, you can look at the handheld status and what you need to look for is the current version number. This is the operating system of your calculator. I'm using 3.6. Make sure it's at least that current, otherwise I can't guarantee that what you're going to see in this video will work on your calculator. The function that we're going to write will be based on what we know about intelligence quotient. Uh, for calculating intelligence quotient, we know that the uh, mean will be 100, standard deviation will be 15, and so here's the question that we're going to use as an example to understand how to write the function. Supposing your IQ is 140, what's the z-score? z-score is calculated by taking the variable, which in this case is 140, subtracting the mean, and dividing by the standard deviation, which is 15. Okay, turn on your calculator and go to New Document, press Enter, and you are going to add a calculator. Number one. Now on your calculator, you can calculate it like this. 140 minus 100 divided by 15. Now, when we put this in, the calculator automatically gives us the answer in the form of a rational number, which is a fraction, 8 thirds. What would be really helpful is if the calculator always gave us the number in the form of a decimal, 2.66, because we're used to working with decimals in statistics. Here's how to write the function. Begin by pressing the menu key on your keypad and going down to number 9, functions and programs. Choose number 1, program editor, and then choose new. All right. Now let's name this something short, but we still know what it's for. So ZS is a nice short name for the function. Press the tab key on your keypad. We're going to change this from type program to a function because a program behaves differently. Press enter and then tab again down to the next uh, field here. We're going to change library access from none to libpub, which means show in catalog. This will allow us to use it in other documents. We're going to tab down to OK and then press OK. What you see now is that the screen has been split into two. On the left side is the calculations that we just did and you can click on over to this side of the screen and you can still do calculations. On the right side is where we can write the function. Now the function is going to have three numbers going into it and that's where we put it between these uh, uh, parentheses. First will be the variable x add a comma, and then the next variable is going to be mean, and we'll use the letter M for that, and then another comma. And then the third variable that we're going to need is standard deviation, and we can just put uh, a lowercase s for that. Press the downward directional arrow key on the uh, touchpad, and the cursor will now go down here to the, the space between func and end func. All right, now we want the uh, calculator to always give us the decimal approximation. So in order to do that, we need to uh, get the approximation function from the catalog. Press the catalog key on your keypad that looks like a book that's being opened. And under tab number one, you've got various tabs on the top here. Under tab number one is an alphabetized list of all the functions. And you should begin in the A's and right here is approx. Select that, and now we're going to add in what we actually do with uh, the variables coming in. Uh, it is x minus m, which is the mean, divided by s, the standard deviation. And that's it. That's the entire function right there. Now, you'll notice near the top of the right side, there's an asterisk by ZS, and what this means is that we've either just created it or we've made a change to it and the change has not been saved. So, sort of like a computer program, we need to check it for syntax and to save it. The way you do this is by pressing the menu key, choosing number two, check syntax and store, and selecting number one, 
and if uh, you made no um, bad key presses, it'll say ZS stored successfully. All right, it is now officially ready to use, and you'll notice if we uh, click on over to the left side, if we start off with the function ZS, it is now bold, which means that uh, your calculator is recognizing that as a predefined function. Parentheses, and let's do the same calculation. 140 is the IQ score going in. The next number is the mean, separated by commas, and the third number is standard deviation. And you don't have to do any of the calculations here. You just have to provide the three numbers. And there it is, 2.667. Okay, now to the final piece. You wrote a really nice function here and you want to save it permanently in your calculator to use in other documents should the need arise. Okay, so here's how to save. It's pretty easy. On your keypad, you're going to press the keys control and then the key that looks like a slanted calculator with little movie lines next to it. This is going to uh, save it. So control and then that other key. Now, you should get a, uh, a screen like this that says save as and it's prompting you for a file name. Now here's the important part. You want to save it in a special folder called mylib. And here it is, mylib. So click on, uh, double tap on that. And there might be some files in here, might not be. But it's being saved in mylib and save your file name so that you remember what you did. How about Z score? Or if you're writing a whole bunch of functions, you can call it stat functions or something like that, and then you'll have several. Press save, and it saves it, and it's all set. One final thing for you to do, go to menu, actions, and then go here to number seven, which is library, and choose refresh libraries. And your calculator will scan the mylib folder, and add z-score to the user library. Now you can see it if you press the uh, catalog button, which is the button with the open book on it, and you, if you choose uh, number six. There's z-score, and if you go down here and choose it, you'll see that the function zs is in there, and you can uh, use this in any future document that you want. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was part two of my three-part series here. Uh, click on part three, advanced functions for distributions, if you want to see all these great functions in the calculator, how to use them in your stats work. Thanks for watching. Bye.